Hello, my name is James Woodward. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, drums and rattles, uh, their uses. Um, today I won't talk to you about how to use them, I'll talk to you about what I personally use them for. And um, then at a later date I will talk to you about other aspects of, um, of, of their uses and their tools. Now, with all shamanic tools, they are not just tools. They are, they are friends. They are, they are um, entities that we work with. They have their own character, and they must be respected, just like we would respect anyone else in this world or spirits. We respect them, which is the uh, most important part. Now, I'll just sh show you um, some of the things that I use. I've got a drum in just with me right now. This one is my latest edition and um, I'll just show you something about this. It's... Can you hear the different sounds? If you play in different parts you get different sounds and this is quite good if you want to uh, create different effects um, when you're s singing with your drum. Um, now, um, drumming is uh, a very, very important part of shamanism. We use them for um, for travelling to the other world, and you ride on the drum. If you look at this, you can see a wheel there. You can you can see the, um, the spokes of the wheel just there, and. Um, you don't only have to think of it as a wheel and you're riding on a wheel, you can also um, uh, see the skin. The skins are often made from uh, horse or from, um, from deer or something like that. And um, if you think of uh, the stick here as the whip and the skin as the actual animal, whether it be horse or deer, you're actually riding on the rhythm. And the rhythm um, allows our consciousness to change, um, going from where we are at the moment into the conscious state, um, into more like a dream state, uh, an altered state of consciousness. Uh, I'll be talking further about that um, on a later video, but um, I'm going to show you some of my uh, other drums. This one here, and here's the, uh, the stick here, or the whip to the drum. This one I use for almost anything and everything. Um, the sound is just perfect for my voice, it's nice and deep. Um, it doesn't record very well on here, so you won't hear all the vibrations like I do, but um, I can feel it. Um, I use this for, um, for healing um, on many levels. Um, I use it for something that's called drum washing. I've been doing that for some time before I found out that it was actually, it had a name. But it does have a name. You often go over the, um, the person, and um, it will feel and it will sound a bit different when you get to an area where the energy is disturbed, where there's a blockage of some sort. And when you're working with um, with any anything like this, whether it be this or even a rattle, I'll just get a rattle out. Um, it's not. You, you're not guiding the drum, the drum guides you and um, it will tell you when to stop because you work with it, as I said it's a friend and you work with it and um, it will tell you when to stop and you just carry on and you'll probably change the rhythm of it as well and you can just feel around and it will sound different if, you were to, if you at home have your own drum or rattle or even if you were to sing, if you were just to make a ho, oh, 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 one of these sounds will resonate with that particular person, or even object or thing that you're that you're working with. You work you work with the energy, um, and um, that is one of the elements that I use it for. So I use it with sound healing, shamanic healing in that sense. And the other is journeying, which is also a form of shamanic healing. Um, 
and um, you also re reach the altered states, and you go to the other world, and you go into someone else's inner landscape, and um, you get a sense of um, of what's going on inside them by um, by looking deep within them, um, and um, to talk a little bit about that, I said I wasn't going to, but it feels appropriate now, that um, there are three worlds in shamanic cosmology. You might be familiar with these, with uh, other cultures around and religions throughout the world, um, slightly different to, uh, to how we will often view it. I'm just going to get one of these rattles out, you can actually see a picture of it if I bring this close enough. If you see that tree there, this represents um, the um, three worlds. The, uh, the red line going through represents the middle world, which is the world we're in right now. We are in the middle world, and um, it does actually um, have a close relationship with the upper and the underworld, and um, which changes that are made within your own consciousness by working with these worlds will have a, an effect with your, um, with your conscious self and uh, what's going on around you as we speak now. So if I was to go into uh, the underworld and uh, visit mine or someone else's landscape, I would get a sense of what's going on in this world and, and what's happening in your own consciousness. And um, by doing so, I can, um, positive, in a positive way, affect um, elements of your uh, conscious life to, um, to try and heal and restore balance back within your world. I say your world, it's our world, but your world as you know it. And um, 